Ladies and gentlemen, as a final surprise tonight, we wish to pay a special tribute to our presenter, our own lovely and personal presenter. <laughs> like to extend a warm welcome to our mom, Peggy, who has travelled all the way from Banaslow to be with her family this evening. <laughs> we all know that Marie has a great love and passion for music. She's not just a pretty member of OPLS. <laughs> she is also an active member of the Mayo Gospel Choir, St. Mary's Church Choir, and for over 20 years, she has been the driving force behind many lovely performances of the Westport Choral Society. She has been involved in organizing the production of Handel's Messiah at Castlebar over the past two years. And what can one say? Always enthusiastic, always positive, Marie is a lady that gets things done. She has been instrumental in raising many thousands of euros for such worthy causes as the Mayo Roscommon Hospice, Mayo Mental Health Association, which I know is very dear to our heart, and many other worthwhile causes. Indeed, Marie is an inspiration to us all. to Marie is an original copy of Thomas More's Irish Melodies. Oh. Now, it wasn't published today or yesterday, it was published in 1859. More is to Ireland what Robbie Burns is to Scotland, and the volume contains such lovely and haunting melodies as the minstrel boy, when he adores thee, the last rose of summer, and many, many others. Finally, may I say to Marie on all our behalfs, thank you, well done. May the road rise to meet you, and may the wind be always at your back. May I now call on our musical director, the lovely, talented, and vivacious. <laughs> <laughs> 